Hello, I'm Vincent Delaney Barbara. I'm here to talk about Rosa Parks, a normal lady, <laughs> a normal lady who made a big contribution to the African American fair rights. And what did she do? She sat on a bus. Yeah, it's pretty simple, isn't it? Rosa Parks shows us that anyone can make a big difference. Segregation was a big thing back then and African American people did not have nearly as much rights. These people were like Martin Luther King who contributed a whole lot for a long period of time. But Rosa Parks did nearly as much as he did just by sitting on a bus. Now let me go into detail about her sitting on a bus for those who don't know Rosa Parks' story. Back when Rosa Parks was alive, things that the whites did not want to do with the blacks Things like these were separate toilets, separate eating and drinking area, and finally separate seats on the bus. White people got to sit on the front part of the bus and the African American people got to sit at the back. But there was a catch. If a white person hopped on the bus and there was no room in the front, then the African American people have to move further to the back or get off the bus. Rosa got fed up with this treatment and stayed on the same seat she was on. The security had to carry her off the bus and she had to go to court. After the public heard this, all the African Americans held the Montgomery bus boycott. This was very affected as the public bus's finances plummeted. Their leader of the group was none other than Martin Luther, Ju Martin Luther King Jr. Rosa Parks became an active public protester and helped protest for a lot of civil rights. Uh, civil rights. Rosa and the protesters had 381 days of boycotting and made up around 70% of the users of the bus line. And finally, the court made the final decision that the laws were unnecessary, unfair and abolished them. Rosa Parks wrote this in her biography. People always say that I didn't give up my seat because I was tired. But that isn't true. I was not tired physically, or no more tired than I usually was at the end of a working day. I was not old, although some people have an image of me as being old then. I was 42. No, the only tired I was was tired of giving in. I know that Rosa Parks' actions has made the world a better place by forcing whites to see how their laws and decisions were unjust. I don't know whether I'll have the courage to stand up against unjust people or laws, but I hope I don't need to because the world is developing fast and people are finally seeing that it doesn't matter what gender or race you are. We are all people and we all have rights. Thank you. The Hero Roundtables are the global events that ask the question, what is a hero? You've just seen one hero talk. To find more and join the conversation, visit our website or social media.